hello I've just finished my jewelry cat that I was showing you yesterday and I've put this on it as a coating and this is Liquitex and I didn't know that this was Liquitex my husband said oh I've bought you this like glaze or something that goes over the top of when you paint clay and he said and, and then you just paint it on I was like oh thank you because I said to him I didn't know what I needed but I know that that Liquitex I've heard Terry from Yarn Joy I'll put a link in if you want to see hers but she does diamond painting and I know she always says oh I put my Liquitex on afterwards so that's what that is that's the same thing and I've used it for the clay and it looks so good so I've just put the video of how it looked before because <laughs> I thought I better I better record before I put the acrylic stuff on because afterwards it might be terrible mightn't it it might all go wrong I don't know so I did I did it before but it's worked it's lovely and I'll show you it now it's all shiny how pretty is it now it's all shiny and it's already pretty much dry but I'm still gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it there for the night and I put it on this this is one of their coloring books but they've basically colored everything but it's it's very shiny and like plasticky and so it's perfect that because it's not sticking Oh, I'm so pleased with it and it looks so cute. Now, I've got mine to do yet, but I'm going to put flowers on mine. So I needed the paintbrush to dry. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, it's lovely. I'm really pleased with it. I did the detailing. So it's just acrylic paints. The, the pretty shiny one is this. This is very old. This wheel coast is closed down now, but it's just a metallic copper acrylic paint. Oh, well done, darling. And then I, my, this is a pen that my husband left. <laughs> he just left it, so I think it was a work pen, but it's a waterproof one. And it says it's for smooth surfaces like glass, plastic, etc. So I thought, all oh, that'll do. So I've just painted it with that. Accident. Yeah, that was an accident. Chaos over there. But yeah, and that's how it's come up. So I did the detailing with the pen. Oh my goodness, more mess. I've been cleaning up for about three days straight and the house is just absolute chaos. I've cleared the front room carpet about four times today alone and I can't see it again. Let me see. Look at that. Blankets fit in that basket, but they've been thrown over the top. And my little boy's hoovering now with his hoover, but oh, everything keeps getting pulled out. Oh well, it'll all get sorted, won't it? The other thing I thought, one sec. The other thing I thought I'd show you really quickly are the book bands that I crocheted for my books. I spoke about it the other day, and so I thought I'd just show you and explain to you how I did it in case you want to have a go. So here they are, I've got one more left to do, but this book was the book I was reading at the time, I didn't have these other two when I started making it, but this book, um, it's from Amazon, but the cover just kept peeling up like this, and so it would just sit there with the cover peeled back, which was really annoying me. So yeah, I just crocheted a chain and measured it around the book, and then just kept going round and round with what I think are single crochets. This book as well. What's it called? Promise You'll Wait. And it said, A Cornish Wartime Story. And my husband ordered it for me for our anniversary. Look, the cover's peeling back. It's not actually a Cornish Wartime Story at all. <laughs> it's just based in London. And somewhere in France. But... They went to Cornwall at the beginning of the book and then it ends in Cornwall as well so they just had a little visit there so it's not a Cornish wartime story at all <laughs> but it was good and I did like it and I cried lots at it so yeah it was good. Here's the ISBN number if you want a book that isn't about Cornwall <laughs> and then these are the other colours. See how I just thought the colours just matched didn't they and this was just sock yarn that I had they match really well. This is the one I'm reading at the moment and I like it so far. There you go. And 
this one is the one that I'll probably read next. I got these in the shop. In the shop, um, in the holiday. <laughs> So hard to talk when they're talking to me, bless them. Uh, um, <laughs> he's a hoovering machine. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the shop had these books, they were two for five pounds. So when I was on holiday, that's what I got for myself. There's the ISBN number for this one. And that will, that will be my next one after this. So yeah, there's an idea. If you want to give books as presents, perhaps you could crochet some book bands to go with them. They're so cute and you just pull them off and then put them back on like you're putting on a pair of trousers for the book. <laughs> oh dear. I love them though. I think they look so pretty and when they're stood up, just they just look all the more pretty. So thank you for coming to visit today and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!